Chapter 1 Introduction to Python Programming Hey Jacob, what are you doing? I have a deadline tomorrow. I have to complete this Python code on time. Huh? Python code? I don't get it. Well, Sophia, by code, I mean a computer program. I still don't get it, but I would like to know about it since I want to be an IT engineer like you. <laughs> of course. Being an IT engineer, I tend to assume that everyone knows these terms. Bring that chair here and sit next to me. I'll explain. A computer program is actually a set of instructions that we give to a computer to tell it what to do. Without instructions, a computer's just a dumb piece of hardware that doesn't know what to do with itself. It's the commands we give it that make it useful. What kinds of commands do you give? Well, basically, you can make it do whatever you want. You can make it create web pages for you, create games. In fact, you can even make it help you with your homework. Wow, that means if I just tell the computer what kind of game I want to create, it will create it for me? Yes, but there's a catch. Just like we humans use language to communicate, so do computers. We have to give these instructions to the computer in a language they understand. This language is called a programming language. Can you give me some examples of programming languages? There are lots of programming languages that you can use. There's QBasic, C, C++, MATLAB. A quite popular one these days is Python. Oh, so that's what you meant by, I have to complete this Python code on time. That's right. I was writing my code using the Python language. But why Python? That's a good question. There are a number of things that make Python extremely useful for coding, especially for beginners. First of all, it's quick and efficient. It doesn't require the use of a lot of complicated symbols, like hashes and dollar signs, that a lot of other programming languages require. Moreover, they're user-friendly. In fact, even you can learn how to code in Python. It's easy to learn. It has an interactive shell in which you can enter programs and run them. It even has something called the Turtle module that's useful and fun for kids. Moreover, there's another module called TKEnter that provides a simple way to create programs with advanced graphics and animations. Python also provides services for data science, deep learning, and artificial intelligence, AI. Wow! Can you please teach me how to code in Python? I really want to learn. Sure. I think I can take some time out to teach you. Let me start from the beginning how to install Python on your computer. If you have Windows on your computer, you have to go to your web browser and enter http colon backslash backslash www.python.org backslash. Click on Download and select the latest version of Python 3 available. Once the Windows installer has been downloaded, double-click the icon and follow the installation instructions. Make sure you note down which directory it installs Python in. In the end, you should have a Python 3 entry in your start menu. The Python default installation automatically installs the idle shell for you. The idle shell is an interactive environment that allows you to experiment and edit text and is ideal for Python coding. Idle stands for Integrated Development Environment. Why is it ideal for Python? For starters, it provides you an editor window where you can type your code and save it. It also allows you to copy-paste and do things that most word processors do. Secondly, and most importantly, it helps you with your coding syntax. By that, I mean it makes sure you write your code in the correct Python format. Anyway, so once you've installed Python on your system, you can just navigate to your Python folder from the Start menu and click on Idle. Okay, but what if I'm using a Mac? To get the Mac OS version, you have to go to http colon backslash backslash www.python.org backslash get it on your browser and download the installer the same way. And if you have Ubuntu, chances are Python's already installed. 
but it may be an older version. To get the latest version, you click on the button for Ubuntu Software Center on the sidebar. Enter Python in the search box on the top right corner and select the latest version of Idle from the list of software. Finally, click Install. There, that simple. Now that you have Python installed and you've opened the Idle editor, you'll see something like this. This is the Python shell. You see the three greater than signs here? This is called the prompt. It lets you know that you can start typing your commands from here. That's great. Please teach me how I can give commands. Sure. Let's get you to write your first line of Python code. Just type print, open parentheses, open quote, hello world, end quote, in parentheses. Making sure you put the double quotes, too. This line is responsible for printing whatever is placed inside the double quotes. Got it. Finally, press the return key. Wow, hello world is displayed. You see, Sophie, the computer just did what you commanded it to. You asked it to print hello world, and it did. It gave you the result of your command. This result is called the output. Notice that the prompt reappears after giving the output. This is to let you know that the Python shell is ready to accept more commands. Now, let's save what you wrote so you can use it again later. Simply click on File, and then Save. Wow, I can't believe I just did that myself. Good job, Sophie. You should be proud of yourself. I have a lot of great notes here. Thanks, Jacob. My pleasure. Now, let me ask a few questions to test your understanding. OK, I'm ready. Question 1. What is Python? A, a game. B, a human language. C, a computer language. D, a command. E, an instruction. The answer is C, a computer language. That's right. We use a computer language like Python to communicate with the computer. Question 2. What is idle? A, an interactive environment. B, a text editor. C, integrated development environment. D, a word processor that can detect errors in syntax. E, all of the above. The answer is E, all of the above. That's right. IDLE, which stands for Integrated Development Environment, acts as a text editor where you can write in your code. It also provides services such as reporting of syntax errors. Question 3. What line do you type to print the words Hello World on the Python screen? A. Print F parentheses Hello World exclamation point in parentheses. B. Print parentheses Hello World parentheses. C. Print Hello World. D. Print space parentheses Hello World end parentheses. E. Show parentheses Hello World end parentheses. The correct answer is D. Print hello world with hello world in parentheses and double quotes. Great job. You really are smart. Guess you take after your brother. Next, I want to teach you about variables and strings. Get ready.